feminazi. So here's the deal. A women's group known as Ultraviolet basically, I guess, sent a letter to Spotify uh, to try to get certain male musicians removed uh, from the Spotify streaming service, right? I'm going to read to you this letter and then I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to give my honest opinion about it. Ultraviolet wrote to CEO Daniel Eck, that's EK. Thank you for taking the important first step of removing infamous abusers R. Kelly and XXX Tentacion from your official playlist. Your action demonstrates that Spotify is following the lead of black women who demanded that these two men who have sexually and physically abused women for years not be promoted and celebrated. On behalf of our 1 million members, Ultraviolet applauds and supports this decision. Yet, as you know, these two men are not the only abusers on your platform. We implore you to take a deeper look at the artists you promote. Every time a famous individual continues to be glorified despite allegations of abuse, we wrongfully perpetuate silence by showing survivors of sexual assault and domestic violence that there will be no consequences for abuse that has a cultural effect far beyond one individual artist. While nowhere near a comprehensive list, here are several abusers or groups of abusers who continue to profit from your promotion. Chris Brown, the Red Hot Chili Peppers, Nelly, Eminem, Don Henley of the Eagles, Steven Tyler of Aerosmith, Takashi 69 Ted Nugent. We publish this as an open letter because we hope other platforms like iTunes, Google Play Music, and Pandora will continue to follow your lead. Thank you again for your thoughtful consideration. Sincerely, Shauna Thomas, Executive Director of Ultraviolet. So that's cool and everything. So I made a little list. And this is not a full list either now. They named one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people. So let me see. I have one, one, two, seven. Okay, I have eight as well. Let's get rid of Rihanna's music off of Spotify because didn't she hit a fan with the microphone? Also, didn't she fight with Chris Brown as well? Also, Azealia Banks. Didn't Azealia Banks, is, is her music on there? I don't know whether or not they even bother putting her music on there, but if they do, you know, wasn't she fighting on airplanes, fighting in clubs? And didn't she attack. Was his name Zane from One Direction with some racist stuff? She said some racist stuff about him. She also attacked Wale, said she wanted him to be in jail, and she wished violence against black men, didn't she? Solange Knowles attacked Jay Z in an elevator. She kicked him, and that was caught on tape. Remy Ma shot a woman in the stomach, and she went to jail for like, was it seven years, or six, seven years, six summers? Nicki Minaj. I mean, j just listen to her music. Her music says it all. Let's just take the lyrics from Anaconda as a prime example. Boy toy named Troy used to live in Detroit. Big dope dealer money. He was getting some coins. Was in shootouts with the law. But he lived in a palace. Bought me Alexander McQueen. He was keeping me stylish. So there you go. Sounds like she's promoted shootouts with the law of violence against the police, you know, hashtag blue lives matter and everything, you know, and that's just not right. I, I mean, you know, she even said in a song called Chirac, she goes, ask Webb if I wasn't taking them trips with him, N-word. Chia. <laughs> so what type of trips is she talking about? She, was she talking about trafficking narcotics? Is that what she was doing before she was rapping? That's pretty effed up stuff. And, you know, that's... <laughs> You know, that, that's that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Nikki. Let me see. Iggy Azalea, didn't she post a bunch of, like, different racist tweets and whatnot? You know, so sounds like she's out here, you know, saying things, doing things she shouldn't be doing as well. But I guess that wouldn't technically count as sexual abuse or domestic violence. But you know what I mean? These last two that I just mentioned, you know, Nikki, Nikki or Iggy. But let me see. Cardi B is promoting gang culture. Yes, she's promoting the Bloods. Bloody Shoes. Yes, I heard her say Bloody Shoes in Bodak Yellow. So, let me see. K. Michelle. K. Michelle. 
uh, she's out there fighting on love and hip hop and whatnot. I mean, just look at the nasty things that she said about people, including women. You know, out here, didn't she throw a candle at Rashida on one episode? C. She threw uh, some silverware at Carly Red's forehead. I think she left her with a bump on her head too for a while there, and she hit. Mimi Faust with a bouquet of flowers that is domestic violence against a woman and you know uh, these these are some very dangerous women and you know I understand that people got kids and people's kids got to eat and stuff but uh, all of this music needs to be taken down right now of course I'm being sarcastic people do you see how ridiculous this is so you're gonna ruin the money that is a that could be going to somebody's family it's one thing okay let's say for example if whatever money earned when for example because that's what that's really what they're doing they're trying to attack these people's money why not set it up so that the money can go into a trust fund as as, as opposed to just uh taking it down period just like i was pissed when they took down the cosby show you know they took it out of syndication or whatever and it's like huh so all of these people who are not Bill Cosby, you know, they're not going to get their checks anymore. I mean, you're going to penalize those people for what he allegedly did. That's amazing. So basically, you're punishing the innocent, which is basically abuse, abuse in itself. If you really think about it, you know, these people are trying to ruin people's lives, man. They're out here trying to mess with people's money and they're not thinking about the bigger picture of it all. Now, what if somebody dug up some old uh, information about some of these people for one of these groups and come to find out they were hit with a domestic violence charge for one reason or another? You know, is there zero tolerance? Is everything a case by case basis? Is it done by accusation? You know, I need some details, man. Like, how does this thing work? But hey, man, you know, the brat is her music up there. Didn't the brat hit some chick in the head with a bottle? How about Jocelyn Hernandez? I mean, she's up there beating on Stevie, on Stevie, on Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. So, you know, like, listen, man, but <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. Plus, they're not going after females. Now, are they? But anyways, y'all, this is all my opinion. Just because I think that it's stupid to do this in the first place. I think that it's just completely idiotic. But then again, I am an idiot myself. But anyways, you know, none of us are angels. And uh, sure as hell, these people who are doing what they're doing are definitely not angels. You know, with this foolishness that <laughs> this foolishness that that they're doing. You know, I I, I see what they're doing. I, I I get it. You know, they're they're targeting men basically. That's really what it truly boils down to. You know, if you really think about it. You know, but anyways, you know. Hashtag Feminazi. Let me know what you think about it all below. What do you think should be done? Do you think I had any good points in my senseless rambling? Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit MeatMagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google+, Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Be sure to hit that notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. It looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alerts to be notified when the videos get posted. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. Let me know what you think about this foolishness. If you see anybody running around social media claiming Meat Magazine is a blogger, please let me know. It is not true. I am not a blogger. I'm actually an entertainer. I'm not as entertaining as any of the people that I named in this video. However, nevertheless, I am an entertainer just on a much, much, much smaller scale. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notify. What do you think should be done? And did anything I said make any sense? Feminazi!